Hello, good evening, guys. My name is Coco. Welcome to The Free Up, a show where black women get together and we talk about social issues, relationships, and sexuality. This evening's show is going to be about the differences between African women and African American women, whether we're talking about relationships, kids, clothes, fashion, makeup, whatever it comes to mind, we're going to be opening up and talking about tonight. So sit back, get ready for an awesome show. Free up. Hello, everybody. We are back to Free Up, a show where we talk about the views of African and American women, women from all over the world. Uh, we are here today with two African American women, myself, Coco and Nunu, and two African women, Millie and Na. What we're going to talk about right now is, ladies, are we alike or are we different? What do you guys think? Um, I think we're a bit different culturally and socially. Well, I tend to agree with that, yeah, pretty much. Black women tend to kind of stay to their self, where I see African women are more unitized in it. Yeah, because mostly back home, um, maybe you have like four cousins, 17 cousins, you gotta stick together. I feel like in, in a way, African women stick together more than um, African American women because, you know, African American women, I, I feel like it's one person for themselves. So that you, you, you know that nobody is backstabbing you. But with African, we tend to rely on each other more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a stigma in, in my community, per se, because yeah. we don't want to see like we depending on nobody. We got this. Mm -hmm. And when we tend to go and ask things or reach out to somebody else that we feel like we can't handle things or they're going to look upon us. I mean, I, I get that, but it's the same way in the African community, though. It's the same way in the African community. I think African women take more advantage of what we don't take advantage of in America. True. We have so many opportunities here in America that we don't, Americans don't take advantage of. And I think they are much smarter. They come over and they get their books and studies and they graduate. We don't have a lot of African American people doing that. And do you think because they get all of this extra education that put them at a level where they start to think better than No, I think they're them? on them that I think they're on that level from being raised in their culture. Mm -hmm. They know they're coming over here of a t of a land of opportunity. So they make the best over here. They go to the higher ranks. You understand? Okay. But you know there is a saying um, that goes like a preacher in their own country is never appreciated until they move out. Of course. So what I'm trying to say is way back home we we are taught to you know not not because I feel like when we're home, I see my, my mom was, um, I said, my mom was a housewife, and I do not want to become a housewife. Yeah. So I, I have to build myself up. So if I leave Ghana mm -hmm. to come here, I'm looking for ways to better myself. I, right. I don't think African American women do not take opportunities here. I think they do. But it, it's just not systematic for them. Yeah, it's not. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's tainted to us on a silver platter. No, yeah. it's like... To me, I think it is over here. We have, we can do it, but we're so spoiled to the point where we don't show that much effort to do it. And, and then it's not pushed upon right. us, too, when we're smaller. Yeah. Like, I think that right now, for African women, we're more into being independent now. We want to get things done by ourselves <laughs> and not be dependent on the man. Because if you have to be dependent on the man then you won't, you'll have to take whatever they give you as opposed to when you got your own stuff and you doing what you And it feels so good to, you know, <laughs> have your yeah, own it stuff. Is. It does. Yeah, it does. I it like does. being independent. So. Yeah, and yeah. I think most factor is, you know, when you come from Africa and move to America, you, you're looking back. Because for me and Nadia, we look back, we have to send things home. Mm -hmm. but, but you here, you have your whole family here, so it's like, oh, my mama can take care of themselves, I can take care of myself, but if you have someone that you love back home, that you know the economy back home is bad, yeah. you, you, you get to work it. You just get to work it and take advantage of whatever you can get and take it home. 
Yes, yeah, y'all don't, y'all don't give out stuff like we do. <laughs> Before I have to decide that I'm going back to Ghana, I gotta get a big old box full of stuff shipped back. Yeah. And even with that, they still want you to, you know, give them some money. Yeah. So you gotta work it. Yeah, that's you, right. You can't just go and don't have nothing. You gotta give them something. Y'all don't do that. Sometimes the girls say, "Oh, why are you buying so much stuff?" <laughs> but you, you know what I mean. Yeah. But we do it because that's what how we're raised. And leaving there, you still got family, but I still got tons of family back home. So mm -hmm. I gotta do what I gotta do. That's right. So do you guys think um, there are things African-Americans can, you know, do to African-American women per se? Because I would focus much on African-American women more than the men in this kind of, you know, talk. Because what do you think they can do to better themselves and not be reliable on the African-American men? I mean, it's pretty much the same thing that you guys do or any woman that want to mm -hmm. succeed does you go somewhere you get your training your education your certification your degree whatever it is you want to get to better yourself and just go for it and the money is here true it's, it's, hey, it's, that it's, it's, it's enough for everybody so <laughs> yeah. i think so some some of the ladies also like the easy way out I prefer not to work as hard. <laughs> Me either. If, if, if I can get it like that, then sure. Hey, it says work easy, not work hard. If you work easy and you can get the money out of it, of course, why not? Yeah. Anything doesn't that doesn't kill you, they say it makes you stronger. That's so. Right. I love, I prefer not to get up and go to work every day. That's hey, me too. If I can find the riches to carry me out, then I wouldn't be, it, I don't have a hard job at all. I don't. But it's still the dedication. You still have to get up and go. So if I had that joy that I can get up anytime I want and still make all the money I need to, to sustain my lifestyle, I think I'm going that way. Mm, that doesn't make sense. That, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so you guys, this is a great segment. So we'll be right back after these messages.